कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे हरे दिस चैंड द डिवाइन ने द लॉर्ड मेक यू टॉल राइट वन दंच कैन नॉट बी टॉल राइट So this chanting will make it all right. Chanting means pure name. Chanting the pure name. Not only letters. It's pure name. This is the instruction. Anyhow, on this occasion, on this day, I am praying to my beloved spiritual master to keep me always as a low dust. At his lotus feet, I am his eternal disciple, servant, living in flesh. Must see here, must see here. Discipline on me, and more. Let him shower his godless mercy on me. Thereby, I can be more tolerant and fulfill his desires. And the disciples, those are coming to me, being sent. By my beloved spiritual master, should be two disciples to serve Sri Lanka Prabhu Pa and get his mercy. नम विष्णु ओम ज्ञान तिमीराम दर्श ज्ञानांजन शलाका चक्षुर उन्मीलतम जैन तस्म श्री गुरावे नम नम विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमती भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नाम ने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणी निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पश्चात दृष्टा बंछा कल पुत्र भस्य कृपा सिंधु भैवच पतिता नाम पावन वैष्णव मन मन श्री रूप सनातन भट्टग्राम श्रीजी को चरण बंदन विघ्न सविष्ट पुराण श्री चैतन्य मन विष्णु स्थापित जन भूतले स्वयं प्रदाशीश श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्रद्धित गदाधर शिवासनी गुरु भक्त So today is a very auspicious day. Sri Simad Gaurvendra Swami's appearance day. Mr. Bhushnav, your devotee, you can learn so much from him. To how to make our life perfect, you can become Bhushnav. Do devotional service. Follow the instruction of Guru, and go back to Godhead. Fulfill the mission of life by dedicating your life uh, in the mission of Guru and Guru Parampara Acharya, ultimately Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
every town village <coughs> preach Krishna consciousness भारत भूमि मनुष्य जन्म हल जार जन्म सार्थक अंडारस्टैंड द पार्पट ऑफ भगवदगीता श्रीमद भगवत चैतन्य चैतन्य एंड पीच अराउंड यू दोज यू आर दें एक्सप्लैंड हियर इज गौर गोविंद महाराज दि अंडारस्टैंड यू लिव इन ए विलेज एंड फ्रम इज चाइल्डहुड The Bhushna family childhood will be spending like many others in maternal uncle's house, but Krishna conscious from his very childhood he committed to memory all Gita, Simad Bhagavatam, Sloka, and he will be reading also those to others. And he developed his attachment to the deity, his favorite Gopal Ji. Those places are there, the place of pilgrimage and temple there, Gadaigiri. Many people go there, but I also went. I also had the association of Maharaj when I was in the Calcutta temple. Whatever is coming in my mind, I am telling. I am getting old, can't remember everything properly. And we will come to Bhuvaneshwar. I understand. Mah is like ideal disciple when he was looking for guru. After leaving his <coughs> family life, put bus from from Kanna Kumari to North India, North of India, Himalayas, and other areas, and come to Bindavan by Krishna's arrangement. He got his guru. He could recognize him by seeing. He knows his mind. He knows his heart. He want to renounce this world. Take sannyas. And in, in time, when he's going to take sannyas, to the surprise of others, senior pupa disciples, and their pupa say that he's already. Did all these things? Why you think they just came and soon getting sannyas initiation? Pobad explained why he gave him. Because Pobad knows he is a Vaishnav. Who is a Vaishnav? He knows. He knows. And Pobad instructed him. He want to take sannyas. What he should be. Not the slightest thought of my personified woman, sex desire. We can learn so much from this. He asked when Pope had ordered him, "I have got a land in Bhuvaneshwar. I want you go there." Actually, it is a real part of a city. Maharaj most probably knew. Nobody lives there. It's almost between the city and the forest area where elephants live and come there. Dacoits come at night because nobody lives there. At a distance, there are some police quarters are there and some government office. As far as you can see, a lonely place. Then. Government national highway. Once in a whole day, one or two trucks passing from Calcutta to Chennai, maybe. Red mud or soil there. When I went, I saw the bodies are so austere. Maharaj was told by Baba when he was going, I will also go there. Different time, Pope says whatever. I don't remember in terms of time, whatever coming in my mind. So he says he has no money, he has no manpower. He wanted. 
Prabhupada taught him. I didn't, nobody gave me money. Hardly anything there. I went far away to America. Money, manpower is not there. He also followed me. Krishna will give you if you are sincere and serious. As far as I remember. And Maharaj accepted it ultimately. And he went. And he did it. Did it. What is there? Ghost leaves in the train station from Calcutta. He went, arrived in Bhavanisha station. Ikshara said, we don't go there. Nobody lives there. We cannot go. He give extra money, may he may. Go then, this way, some or other, he arrived there. <laughs> and what he saw, his heart humble. And why staying? Whole day, hardly comes out. If somebody wants to see him, somebody check whether he really is worth allowing him to go and see Maharaj. So Darshan paid on the Maharaj wants waste his time. I heard he eats once a day. Previously, he used to go in a cycle, go for arms. In his own hand, he made a mud hut. Because I'll go there if there is provision of electric light. There is no building nearby, I don't see. Only jungles. I hear at night, elephant comes, the ghost, the quiet, scorpions, big snake. I'm a city boy. How he's living there, I cannot think of. But I highly appreciate when I read Prabhupada's lecture and Prabhupada asked me to, to, to <clears throat> transcribe. There I saw what real sadhu, real Brahman lives, what are his symptoms. Here it is, I find. Here it is, I find. So with awe and wonder, I look at what Mahaj is doing. I hardly have charms later on. Except when he give lecture, like a lion, emphasizing some point, with strong conviction, he will give you conviction. And whether I understand or not, just one line, just one word, he is emphasizing. He says, everything is there in Prabhupada's book. I am hesitating to sit near him in a high place, they allowed me. I don't feel I should sit there in a year. He is so experienced person of his life he had. He has a grihastha before. We know nothing. We are a little boy yet. Yet he no experience in life. They seem like a brahmachari sana. But I like it. I must as I remember those days. And he fulfilled the desire, Prabhupada told him his guru that privately. I will go there, arrange for life. And though his disciple doesn't want, how can Prabhupada live in a mad heart? With my disciple bring in his own hand. If he arrange light little, so that I can translate and some water for my taking bath. That's enough. Prabhupada is teaching us how to live simple, though he can live in America, New York City. But he had experience. At least. Radha on the temple, living austere life. I heard. We can learn so much from Purvat, from Guru and Maharaj. Still now. Who says, don't say Nitya Lila Pavishto. Not Nitya Lila He's still with me when I follow his instruction. Yes, I believe. I believe. It's a lecture for hours and hours he'll be giving. I heard how hard he struggled. Prabhupada expected there should be a temple here. It will be one of the busiest part of the city. Everything is revealed. Now you can see again, uh, gradually, gradually manifesting everything. But Prabhupada told him, deity will come. Don't worry. Money will come. If you are sincere and serious, he did that. What is going to say? So we can learn from him so much. He's like our Shiksha Guru, I've seen. I used to see him like an elder brother. So much experience. Whether I understand or not, at least listen his lecture. See how it is. And he's very affectionate. 
and he teach me. Though I am doing nothing, I am good for nothing to him in my eyes. <clears throat> he will whole day, whole night he will be writing, translating his Guru's work over said second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Bhavasattika buddhi eke bhavna. Now I should take the words of Guru as it is. He will ask him, what do you want me to do? Every serious person in Krishna Kuna should ask his Guru like this. And what Guru says, this should be his life and soul. If you have to die still, he will do his best. He is real, this happened. Serious. And you can get the blessing of Guru. I see, Maharaj got the blessing of Guru. He did fulfill his desire. He said he has given, his Guru Maharaj given him three instructions. Do this, do this, do this. And he's doing, in the temple, preach Krishna consciousness. Tell him everything is there in his book. Whatever is coming in my mind, I am telling. And I see everything. He's doing is an ideal example. How to become an ideal disciple. And in time, how to do devotional service, taking the words of good life and so. So very difficult, very strict to it. Whatever I mean with the odds, difficulties, challenges, how difficult he's doing. And Prabhupada went to encourage him. Did nearly about three weeks or something, 17 days, stayed there and asked arrangement for devotees. For Prasad, and he did that. How he did that, I don't know. But we can learn how he did. Have faith in the words of Guru. You can see how much this professor, dean of Utkani University, nice, wonderful man, simple like a child, love. Dr. Fokin Mohan. He used to come to have association of Maharaj. Maharaj liked him. Very nice person. Fakir Mohan. <clears throat> Ji. Professor. And King of Puri will be uh, uh, <clears throat> coming in the in, in his memory, maybe appearance day or disappearance day. The devotee, so many years I saw him. Gajaputi. Uh, what is his name? Uh, Dibbo Singh or something. Though he is highly educated in America, Chicago University, LLM, is very humble. And he used to have come here. Huh? And he used to so much have reverence for Maharaj and respect. Though he himself, by the whole Odisha people, still now, I saw, respect him as a, he, he is an external manifestation of Jagannath. Jagannath is represented here. Still people see him like almost, they respect him as Jagannath like that. Huh? He is represented here. And he also has so much reverence for Maharaj. I remember. Still now. I cannot assist Maharaj, but I like his association. Like so much I can learn from him, reading his book, his lecture remembering, hearing his cassettes, still I feel like Maharaj as he said. As Prabhupada's lecture I listen, I feel Prabhupada's vitas as long as I am strictly and sincerely, seriously follow his instruction, I say. So here is a wonderful example, Gaurgavinda Maharaj, who can inspire so many people. Maharaj once told his disciples, disciples say, you are telling all these things. One is this, you have to cry to Krishna. Chanting Hare Krishna means crying. Krishna. Admit what you did, all nonsense in your life. Krishna definitely will show mercy on you. He will be chastising his followers sometime. 
coming from some particular country or nonsense he is doing. He can understand, Maharaj, for his good, he is staying. Out of affection, he is staying so that he can give up all those bad habits. Very good, like a father. And they accept it nicely. Find it difficult to cry, of course. Because one is enjoying mood. Many of us, difficult to cry. Then they ask, you cannot cry now, when you will cry? When I will go away and feel missing, feeling separation. When they read his instruction and remember, then they will cry, what we have lost. And they put into practice those try, feel his presence. Maharaj was very grave, as I find the idea of wisdom, so simple, but they are at the same time very strict, strictly following, as his Guru said. One thing, I remember so strictly, he is telling how to become free from Maya, his lecture. Again and again, I listened many times, very strong sometimes. Many of the stories, very simple, that we have to become very simple. Once he used to tell one word, I'd like it very much as, he said, one required to be very simple. Bhaktivedanta Thakur says, simplicity is Vaishnav. Vaishnav being is very, very simple. I saw how humble and simple he was and austere. He was teaching her. Sarlata hai Vaishnavata. Become simple, Sarlata, Dhirata, and Oikantikata. One pointed, seriously. Dhirata, determined to carry out the word of Guru, his mission. And that is what he did. In short, he is saying, what Prabhupada says once, that what I taught you in short, you have to maintain your body, require some little place of land to slide down, some mattress, some food to maintain your body, and some clothing. Do your sadhana, what Guru says, and work hard to preach Krishna consciousness to the world, the way he says. Then Maharaj is doing that by preaching Krishna consciousness. Prabhupada wanted, his iskon should be a, it's a place where we are making perfect Brahmin, perfect gentleman, it's a Brahmin. That means Brahminical qualification, quality, standard, character, wisdom. If we don't do that, then who will listen to us? Bharadvamita, Manusya, Janamaraya, those who are born as human beings, most of the people are animal platform. How they will appreciate that? So we have to ourselves set up an example. Here is Guru and Maharaj, setting example, himself living in the heart, own handmade mud heart, and Guru will come to see you. Though others oppose for him, good circuit house, this, that, no. Also, I will live there. He may live there. So, when he remember all these things, how in a haunted place, dockets coming and he is living. There is nothing there, a little, little guest house made all bricks coming out all around the jungle. And there is only stairs underneath, little part of the stairs going to the temple. Temple not manifested and he is struggling hard, where for money will come. Prabhupada said, money will come if you are sincere and serious. He is carrying on, trying to fulfill the desire of Prabhupada, translating books. Staying whole night awake, eating once a day, symptom of prasadu. Sometime I heard somebody said, Oh, he is taking milk. You don't. I said, Next day, Mahar stopped taking heart. As far as I remember, there is another heart other than him. He used to cook. And only office was that under the stairs. Gradually, gradually manifesting what Prabhupada said. He has got faith. 
there is a saying in scripture one who has got implicit faith just so they be parabhakti jatha devi jatha guru and the same implicit faith in the words of guru everything in the scripture is revealed so guru simply repeats what krishna says what prabhu said is what krishna said he told his disciple and when he carries out he can and he find everything is revealed and there he said this will be a busy place one of the most important center i see is vibrant always the festival so many people coming taking prasad big big festivals dt looks living jagannath hopulan big smile gonita dt looking at you as if i like watching you what you are doing krishna bola in ecstasy dancing till when you go there if you remember all these things the mind the maharaj's life and what prabhupada instructed him he tried to fulfill his desire he is still there you can feel his presence when you remember all this if i look back i see the day maharaj came from few days ago from the west preaching maybe 96 sometime the devotees disabled saying me swami i ran away from calcutta temple come here maharaj affectionately treat me taking me to house program i am little reluctant to go in front of him maharaj me asked me to speak i don't know whether they understand bengali but maharaj arranges no you have to speak you have to speak come with me so on the village preaching padyacha district to district in urisha so much to learn there is a saying sadhu sanga hari na ei matto chai sanshar jinte ar kichu you want to become transcend your material existence live in spiritual atmosphere first transcend material existence. for that it required powerful works satang prasanga mama bidya sanga hari katha you must hear from a pure hari bhakta nashta prasto nittam bhagavata shika regularly so maj was very emphatic on long hours listen simad bhagavatam sad bhagavatam granth bhagavatam person bhagavatam here is this of course others they may not like but popat gave them oh go distribute book boba said like that the society is compared to a body where eyes has got its own function ear got its function nose function head function hand belly like Prabhupada knows what is his nature and according to give him this service you do. If you do his sadhana, do this. But if you don't do your sadhana well, so it gives him passes. You cannot maintain, it is difficult to maintain purity. And you see this thing happens. It happens. It doesn't give him importance to sadhana well. He will find difficulty. Maintaining purity, standard, quality. which is very important so one of our leader giriraj maharaj wrote a book called mm moon of the in the spiritual realm of iskon here is moon in day time he is like a sun sun sets and the moon come so we don't see him now we can see him as a moon very soothing is if you if you you have got problem you have got difficulty in spiritual life listen maharaj's lecture read his books his instruction it's like a very soothing but there is doubt there is um, he can kind of disappointment he look his instruction his lectures where i feel you get to leave 
your life become calm, become peaceful, you go on smiling. Oh, here is the solution, how to face emotional urges, anger, lower urges, which everybody is, has to face. And Mohan has got good example how to handle it, how to overcome it. We can go on saying, whatever is coming in my mind, I am telling, because still I do this thing. I did Maharaj's book. I listened to his lecture sometimes. And remember, when I was with him, I affectionately used to treat me, never chastise me. Though I, I, I thought he chastised me and it's good for me, so that I can get rid of all my bad habits. And see, go to his Godaigiri, I'm invited there. And his temple. And see how he served his Guru. As an ideal disciple. And thus, cherish his association still now. And he will call me in evening for darshan and giving question answer. Sometimes ask me to answer. I dare not in front of him open my mouth. I can be making mistake because he is staying lofty, tattva bichar, and hardly I can penetrate this. But I appreciate what to learn. If you want to advance in Krishna consciousness, you can take guidance. You can accept him, Shiksha, Guru. Thus we have got Shiksha Guru many. Right? And our Guru goes away. You can see who can inspire you, who can dispel your doubt. There is one, Gorgovinda Maharaj. So Gorgovinda Maharaj ki chai. On the auspicious appearance day of His Holiness, Srila Gorgovinda Maharaj, I, Parthasarati Das Goswami, humbly offer these words of praise to Srila Govinda Maharaj. Gopal Gada Ratim Ratidim Yeti Shingha Gora Govinda Dasikamvaram Satatam Namami. These prayers I repeat every day. I think for the last 25 years, no, last 20 years, I've offered my pranam prayers every day to Srila Govinda Maharaj. I see him as my Siksha Guru and a great inspiration in my own personal practice of spiritual life. Amongst the followers of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, which would include his direct disciples, grand disciples, now great grand disciples, and followers, admirers. There are many exalted and wonderful Vaishnavas. There are many of my own God brothers and God sisters dedicated to the service of Srila Prabhupada and I'll offer, offer my respect to them, Koti Koti times. But amongst them, Srila Gorgavinda Mart really emerges as perhaps the most significant follower of Srila Prabhupada. At least this is my own personal realization. I think he not just think, but I've had some realization also because I've been praying to Srila Govinda Maharaj for many years that these theoretical thoughts can become realizations. In other words, the Gyan can become the Vigyan. So I see him as a eternally liberated soul without being naive or simplistic. I think he's an eternally liberated soul, 
Jivan Mukta Mahapurush, as Srila Bhaksadanta said. Srila Bhaksadanta referred to two of his disciples as Jivan Mukta Mahapurush. So I see Srila Gorgavinda Maharaj on the same category. But more than that, I see him as an eternal associate of Srila Prabhupada in the spiritual world. I am convinced that now he is serving Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhaksadanta, Srila Gokishore, Srila Bhaktivinoda in his eternal spiritual form. I pray to that spiritual form and I pray that he can reveal himself gradually to this most unfortunate and offensive conditioned soul. His example is an inspiration to all of us. And without being too controversial, I think he was misunderstood within the society. But nevertheless, out of his tolerance and humility, he continued to preach within the parameters of the ISKCON society as a faithful servant of Srila Prabhupada. I read his books. I pray to him every day. And my prayer is that what he has in his heart uh, can flow into my heart. So on this particular day, I offer my respects to Srila Gorgavinda Maharaj as, as far as I'm concerned, the most inspirational and significant follower of Srila Prabhupada, at least to date that I'm aware of. And I pray that I can receive his mercy. By ex his example, he cooperated within the ISKCON mission. And I humbly request his direct disciples, grand disciples and followers to also follow in his footsteps in the same mood. I think this would please him, that we cooperate within the ISKCON mission and tolerate the difficulties and injustices that may be directed towards us, just as he tolerated so much. I was fortunate I met him in 1987 at the 50 men committee meeting in Mayapur. He was sitting in the back and he never spoke. Then again, I met him in 1993 when I was in Jagannath Puri for the month of um, Purushottama month. And then again, I met him in 1995 when he came to South Africa. At that time, I knew a little bit more about devotional service, bhakti and braja bhakti. And I took advantage to associate with him. We had some very intimate conversations and I drove with him to the airport where he expressed some confidential realizations, etc. paragraph. So on this occasion of his Yasa Puja, I offer my respects to him. Koti Koti, millions and millions of times. I see him as my very senior Siksha Guru and Ajivan Mukta Mahapurush, an Uttama Bhagwat, and an eternal associate of Krishna, an eternal associate of Srila Prabhupada and our Guru Parampara. And although now he is serving in his spiritual form. Prabhupada Shilab Occidenta, our Guru Parampara and Radha and Krishna, he can still reach out to us. He has the power to do that and enliven us and guide us in our
in our attempt to go from Samanya or general bhakti to bhava bhakti to prema bhakti. I very much look forward to meeting them again in the spiritual world. But for me, that may be, may take quite some time because I can't even qualify myself as a Kanishta Bhakta. But by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, I did have his association and I continue to have it through my prayers to him. For glories to His Holiness, Srila Bhagavan March, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to our Parampara, all glories to Vipalamba Satra and Jagannath Puri, all glories to Srila Bhagavan Maharaj's books, all glories to Jagannath Subhadra and Balaram, Gopremanandi, Hari Hari Bo. On this most auspicious day of the appearance of His Holiness Shishimad Gorgovinda Maharaj, I would like to read something that he wrote for our benefit. He spoke, You should develop simplicity, give up crookedness, politics and duplicity. These Shastras, as well as all Vaishnavacharyas have said, simplicity is Vaishnavism. One who is simple by nature is a natural Vaishnava. I want all of you to become natural Vaishnavas. Vaishnavas in the true sense. Don't be hypocrites, outward Vaishnava, but inward demon, inward politician. If you do that, you will become a Kali Chela, a follower of Kali. A Sadhu Vaishnava has many followers. They are known as Chelas. If you are just outwardly posing as a Vaishnava with Vaishnava dress, Shika, Tilak, Japamala, chanting Hare Krishna, but inside you are crooked, duplicitous, pretentious, you have no simplicity, then you are a Kali Chela. You cannot become a follower of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is the most important thing. Develop simplicity. No crookedness, no duplicity, and no politics. This is the only thing required. Then you can become very dear to Guru and Krishna. Then you can very easily develop all the qualities of a Vaishnava. Then you can completely surrender. Otherwise, you cannot. Your surrender will never be complete. It will only be partial or conditional surrender. There must be nothing conditional and nothing partial. We want to be 100% Vaishnavas, 100% surrendered, not 40% or 50%. One who develops Krishna Prema can surrender. Otherwise, one cannot completely surrender. Unless you become simple, you cannot develop Krishna Prema. I want that you become nice devotees, true Vaishnavas. A Vaishnava devotee does everything for the pleasure of Krishna and nothing for his own pleasure. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has said, I don't want anything for my own pleasure, I'll do everything for your pleasure. This is true Vaishnava. End quote. So how are we to understand this? How are we to practice this? by seeing an example in our life. So I can think of no better example in my own personal experience than the example shown by my esteemed godbrother, my senior godbrother in every way, His Holiness Sri Srimad Gaurgavinda Maharaj, who showed perfect example of Guru Seva, determined, ex incredible determination in Guru Seva to establish Bhubaneswar Temple, to translate all Prabhupada's books into Oriya language, to travel all over the world in his advanced age. I personally saw this when he visited our Denver Iskon temple. And his body was giving so much trouble, he would offer a full dandavat to Radha Govinda and he would have to be helped up off the floor by his disciples. The body was giving so much trouble, but still he's traveling all over the world just for the purpose of pleasing his spiritual master, to push on the movement begun by his spiritual master. This is the qualification of a bona fide spiritual master, someone who is perfect disciple. And in my life, where I haven't seen any other better example of what it means to be a disciple than the example shown by this extraordinary devotee who was nothing less than Paramahansa Thakur. He showed this example, what it means to be a pure devotee, free from duplicity, free from cheating, free from pretension, 
free from politics, just simple Vaishnava, completely surrendered at the lotus feet of Guru. This is our everything. If we hope to make progress in spiritual life, this is what we need to do. So how do we get inspiration? We get inspiration by seeing the example set by another devotee. So personally, on this occasion, it's a great blessing in my life for which I thank His Grace Madhavananda Prabhu to give me this opportunity to remember the example and personal qualities of this great devotee, my beloved God-brother, Sri Srimad Gaur Govinda Maharaj. May He bless us all. May He guide us all. May His example shine brightly in this ISKCON society. Bancha kopa trubhis cha kripa sindhu deva cha patitanam pab nebhyo vaishnavito namo namaha. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Shri Srimad Gaur Govinda Maharaj ki jai. Hare Krishna. Namo Vishnupadaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Sri Mate Gauru Govinda Swami Nityadana. My most revered Gurudev, please accept my Dandavat Pranam at your lotus feet. Today we are observing the 92nd Holy Appearance Day of yours with others. We have all taken shelter at your lotus feet in order to stop our cyclic order of life, which is very miserable. But to do so, we have to surrender at your lotus feet, follow your instructions, and get teachings from you. These are the limbs of our sadhana. If we can become your Nitya Dasha, then we can know our soul. But we are having so much anarthas and having no knowledge about the Tokko. Dear Gurudev, during earlier times, whenever I would go to you with some problems, you always said to me that I should tolerate and cooperate. That time I could understand the meaning of tolerate, but I was not able to understand the meaning of cooperate. To whom I should cooperate with? How I should cooperate? Many such questions were crowding my mind. I was feeling uneasy without the proper answer. <laughs> At the same time, I was not having the courage to go to you and ask the answer to my questions. Finally, by your mercy, I found a speech of Srila Prabhupada Maharaj in which he mentioned that you devotees should cooperate with me so that I can carry out this Krishna Consciousness movement nicely. Now I got my answer. I understood that I should cooperate with you so that you can carry out your mission smoothly. What was your mission? You wanted to distribute Krishna Prema all over the world. Gurudev, am I really cooperating with you so that you can fulfill the desire of Srimad Mahaprabhu? Am I serving you rightly or am I becoming Guru Bhogi? Still these doubts are coming to me. I have read an article of an Acharya that if a disciple cannot serve his Guru in the right way, he will become either Guru Bhogi or Guru Pyani. What is your Guru Pyani? We know that Guru never gives up his disciples unless he loses faith on Krishna's name. But a disciple, due to his ignorance, gives up Guru. That means he does not follow the instructions of Guru and gives up his association. We all are accepting you as our Guru, but when we are not doing our bhajan according to your instructions, we become Guru Tyagi. What are the other symptoms of a Guru Tyagi? One, Gurudev has given us name and mantra. 
but we are not doing bhajan. Number two, giving up our relation with our guru and going to find other gurus, thereby not following our Gurudev's instructions. And number three, being so much attached to our family life that we are not having any connection with our Gurudev. These are other symptoms of a Guru Kyagi. Who is Guru Bhogi? We have accepted you as our Gurudev, but we are reluctant to understand your desire and engage in bhajan in our own way. That means we are becoming Guru Bhogi. We came to you for bhajan, but we are not giving up our material interests. Inside our minds, we have no interest for bhajan, but outwardly we pose that we are submissively following Guru. This is only to achieve some benefit or pratishta from Guru. This type of intention shows that we have only accepted Guru for our material happiness. These are all the symptoms of a Guru Bodhi. We are not remaining at the lotus feet of Guru Dev for our spiritual benefit. Rather, we are pretending to be Guru Sevi. But in reality, we are Guru Bhogi. If we will not get Bhoga, we may go away from Guru Dev becoming Guru Tyagi. Guru Dev, I am praying at your lotus feet that please, you should use me in your seva. I need your kind mercy so that life after life I will be engaged in Hari Seva. Only by your mercy I may be able to understand you and your desire and be able to engage myself as your lowly servant. Jai Shri Gurudev Ki Jai. Jai Vyasapuja Tithi Mahamosav Ki Jai, your lowly servant Chaitanya Chandra Nash. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shimate Goura Govinda Swami Nitinamini Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamini Namaste Sarasvati Deve Gaura Vani Pracharine Nirvi Shesha Shunyavadi Paschatyadeshatarine Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to say a few words of humble offering to Srila Gaur Govinda Swami Maharaj on his most auspicious Vyasa Puja celebration this year, which is an extraordinary year in the world, and the Vyasa Puja is performed online. I'm very happy to participate. I usually am in the West and I cannot be in Bhupaneshwar at this time of the year, so it's my first participation in the Vyasa Puja festival of Srila Gaur Govinda Swami Maharaj. I'm speaking from New Prajamandala in Spain, in the temple room, which was blessed several times by Srila Gorgovinda Maharaj during his world tour in the 90s. The Srimad Bhagavatam states, Bhavat Vida Bhagavatas, Tirta Bhutas Vayam Vibho, Tirti cum curvanti tirtani svantas tena gadavritaha. That pure devotees of the Lord are like holy places of pilgrimage who, who travel everywhere because they carry the Supreme Personality of Godhead within their heart. They make every place they touch a holy place of pilgrimage. And certainly, New Brajamandala in Spain was blessed by Gurgovinda Maharaj. I remember also 
I have a contest when I remember Maharaj. I see a contest when I saw him the first time in Bhuvaneshwar in 1984 or 85, one of these two years. Maharaj was sitting under his cottage, the Bhajan Kutir, and he was building the Bhuvaneshwar temple. It was practically speaking a construction place at the time. Maharaj was fulfilling the instruction he had received from Srila Prabhupada. Basically he was serving his Prabhu Datadesh in a very humble attitude. I was actually very impressed. Maharaj was sitting behind a, a small desk, wooden desk, sitting on the floor on a mat like this, very, very simple. I was touched by uh, Maharaj, the manner and attitude. He welcomed our small group of pilgrims, devotees coming from Spain. And later on in the 90s, when he was traveling, touring the world, he was like a lion. He would preach very strongly, like a lion. I, I was very happy to get the mercy of Maharaj in many different ways. Very blessed, very happy. Maharaj acted like Diksha Guru to, to many and to many more as Shiksha Guru. For me, Maharaj acted as Shiksha Guru in a very, very calm, very merciful way. In, in one way he did it in, in a, sometimes very strong, acting like, a, like a, a lion and crushing my pride. For example, by asking me, are you a Brahmana or are you a Kripana? When he was discussing one purple from Bhagavad Gita quoting a verse from the Upanishads. Uh, I, he just crushed completely my, my pride, thinking that he was uh, a good devotee, a good, a good brahmachari, brahmana, and so on. And also he did it in a very affectionate way, slapping me in the back and laughing in a very, very kind, very, very, very fatherly, and, and even, even friendly, joking, like uh, totally blissful in his way of expressing. And in the same time, warning me to be careful with material nature. So in this way, Maharaj was very merciful and on this most auspicious day, we pray for his mercy. May he continue blessing us with his strength, crushing our pride, and with his affection, giving us divine love in his instructions in devotional service. I like to end by quoting another verse from Srimad Bhagavatam which Srila Gaur Govinda Swami Maharaj relished and make everyone who listens to him to relish uh, with great delight. Tula yama la venapi nas vargana punar bhavam bhagavat sangi sangasya martyanam ki mutashi That even a moment of, of association with a pure devotee of the Lord cannot be compared by far with attaining heavenly, the heavenly planets, attaining, attaining liberation from material existence, what to speak of the pleasures we find in this material world. So we are very lucky that we can 
get together and glorify Srila Gaur Govinda Swami Maharaj on this most auspicious day and remember the association we had with him. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity once again. Hare Krishna. All glories to Srila Gaur Govinda Swami Maharaj. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. ओ मज्ञान तिमरंद सिंग्यानांजन शलाकया, चक्षोन मेलितं गेनत अस्मैश्री गुरुवे नमह, वांचाकल पुतरुब्यस चक्रपासिन दुब्य एवच, पतितानाम पावने ब्योवैश्न वेब्यो नमोन नमह. In the next five minutes, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Parampujya Gaurgoin Swami Maharaj. Although I have not met him personally, I derived tremendous uh, spiritual shakti by reading his writings and his lectures. So one of the turning points in my life is uh, studying the Krishna Kathamrita books, Krishna Kathamrita, in which many of the Maharaja's lectures are decoded into articles, like Uddhava comes to Vrindavan, Mathura meets Vrindavan. And uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Jagannath Puri, you know, greeting Lord Jagannath, which is the Vipralamba Kshetra, uh, Vipralamba Dham. Uh, and uh, Shrimad Radharani is Madanokya Mahabhav, and such kinds of explanation, explanation about Sri Guru Tattva, uh, explanation about Nama Tattva. So, these type of Maharaja's lectures and articles and videos I have given me and many of our devotees in Pune tremendous uh, uh, spiritual inspiration. Thanks to Maharaj uh, for such a pure presentation because we are living in the modern day world when things are very diluted and very degraded and deviated. And uh, Maharaj, you have preserved uh, the sanctity and the purity and the uh, rasa tattva especially the way you have explained, you have made us feel the presence of Krishna in our lives. Another thing that I was deeply touched by Maharaja's Vani Association is the firm faith that he gave us in Prabhupada. Everything is in Prabhupada books. So Maharaja says, you know, in the top of a ocean, you only get fishes. But Ratna Garbha, when you go deep, you get Ratna. Navaratnas you get inside. So, he teaches how there is Braja Prem, even in Bhagavad Gita, in the 18.66 verse, Maham Ekam Charanam Braja, why Krishna says, because he wants us to surrender in the mood of Vrindavan Vasis. So, like this, Maharaj has brought out many, many valuable gems from Prabhupada's writings. I am very thankful to him for instilling in our hearts, in our tender hearts, he instilled such a deep faith in Srila Prabhupada and his purports. Uh, and everything is in Prabhupada's purports. So that confidence we developed by hearing from him. Thirdly, uh, the <clears throat> kind of uh, uh, lectures that he has given, singing the Vaishnava songs very sweetly, along with that like a thunderbolt smashing illusion to powder, uh, all our material attachments would be driven away, like a tube light switched on in a dark room. Uh, he is very expert in exploding illusion and exposing Maya and establishing Krishna in our hearts. So I am very thankful to Maharaj on his auspicious Vyaspuja uh, day. I am remembering this wonderful qualities of Maharaj and I beg for a drop of his mercy so that you know we can uh, develop a solid foundation in our spiritual lives and get the spiritual strength to proceed ahead in our spiritual lives nicely. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Gauragra Ganya Gana Gotra Galoru Haram, Gauranga Gudhatama Gopya the Kalpa Vriksham, Gopala Gadha Ratidam Yatisimha Gaura, Govinda Deshikavaram Satatam Namami. I would like to submit this offering at the lotus feet of Shri Srimad Gaur Govinda Swami Maharaj, Srila Gurudev. 
if someone were to ask me who is the first love of my spiritual life i would unhesitatingly say that it is shri shrimad gaur govind swami maharaj when i came in the association of the devotees for many years i was praying to the lord to show to me a particular personality who was an ideal guru as well as who was firmly fixed in the traditional siddhantas of gaudiya vaishnavism after some time krishna very mercifully gave me the association of the vani of shri shrimad gaur govind swami maharaj as well as the association of the servants of shri gaur govind swami maharaj unfortunately i could never have his vapu association but i still consider myself to be very fortunate that i was given the vani association of maharaj maharaj is distinct in his presentation of krishna bhakti because maharaj never compromised in his siddhantas and at the same time maharaj was very sweet in his personal dealings therefore maharaj was an ideal combination of siddhantic clarity and sweetness in vaishnav dealings this is something which immensely impressed me in his behavior with the various vaishnavas maharaj was also very sincerely dedicated to the cause of shila prabhupad and the international society for krishna consciousness maharaj was always anxious to see that high quality krishna katha is spoken and propagated in our society and that the members of our society are all clearly aware of all the siddhantas of our purva acharyas maharaj himself in his purva ashram was a school teacher and had an excellent command over teaching all the subjects to his students this excellent command over teaching was clearly reflected when maharaj taught his disciples the science of krishna bhakti on this day i am very very thankful to the lord that he kindly brought me in the association of maharaj and maharaj's servants i always pray to the lord that oh dear lord please always let maharaj's kripa drishti let his merciful vision be always upon me so that i may never ever deviate from the proper path of krishna bhajan and i also pray to the lord that may he give me the shakti that is the required empowerment to be an instrument of service to shri shrimad gaur govind swami maharaj i am very very thankful to maharaj for revolutionizing my spiritual life especially at a point when i was stuck and unable to progress without any directions such a guru who rescues us during our darkest hours is indeed a guru sent by the lord himself so on this day i would like to once again offer my humble obeisances unto shri shrimad gaur govind swami maharaj shri gurudev and i always eternally pray for his mercy and always await the day when i will be able to see him in person hare krishna jai shri prabhupad hare krishna hare bol dandur padam myself pitam parchetandas is compounding i am feeling very grateful honored and blessed is i got opportunity to speak about something param pooja go govind swami maharaj he is i am eternally indebted to him although in this life in this body i never saw physically gorgon swami maharaj but since 15 years almost 20 years when I, i heard his lecture so he is one of the source of my inspiration life and soul in my life 
four personalities are source of inspiration. Most important, Sri Prabhupada, my initiating Guru, the Chaguru, Guru, Param Pooja Radhanath Swami Maharaj, His Holiness Gaur Gun Swami Maharaj, and His Holiness Radha Gun Swami Maharaj. So, I am feeling so grateful, Maharaj, he was not this world, of this world. He was directly descended from the spiritual world to assist Sri Prabhupada. Although physically we didn't meet ever, never, but still I feel eternally connected to him. And he has given such a disciple like Haldar Swami Maharaj and so many of you. So Maharaj taught us how to cry for Krishna. So on this auspicious day, I beg that I am a developed love for Krishna. Whatever I am, I am eternally grateful to you. And you have such a faith on Krishna. You are made for Krishna. You are making mad to hold the world. Although you are physically not present here, but spiritually you are in transcendent spiritual world. From there you are delivering the soul like so many of us. So, on this auspicious day, I am praying, please give me drop of faith. Guru De, Kripa Bindu Diya, Deho Muridase. And I am eternally grateful. You are living through so many disciples, wonderful disciples. We are getting association like His Holiness Haldar Swami Maharaj and so many other disciples. They are spreading your glories. You are living through them. They are following their instruction. You have such a faith. You said Vaishnata means simplicity, Saralata. So you have so since I came in contact in Krishna consciousness in two thousand since two thousand I am hearing your lectures. So Fourth personality in my life, source of inspiration, Srila Prabhupada, His Divine Grace, my Guru Maharaj, His Holiness Radhana Swami Maharaj, and you, and His Holiness Radha Gund Maharaj. So, on this auspicious day, I got opportunity to speak. So, I am eternally grateful to you, Maharaj, and all disciples, your disciples, the glorious disciples, Maharaj. Only beg, please what you have love for Krishna. You are not of this world. You came for us. This is good. Our my misfortune. I could not meet personally. But still your heart, you are giving your association, encouragement. You are uplifting me, encouraging me, or giving association. You are, you are one madman can make another madman. You are making mad for Krishna. Once you said, if somebody claims my disciple, he should know Jugal Priti of Radha Krishna. Guru means who has love for Krishna. One who has love for Krishna, he can give love to others. So you have love for Krishna. So I am so grateful and others, your disciples, who have given opportunity to glorify about you. All the words are very broken language, broken words. But I am eternally grateful my heart to you. Thank you so much on this auspicious day. I beg your lotus feet to have mercy upon me, fallen soul me. Thank you so much Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Sri Gaur Gonsai Maharaj Ki Jai. और भक्त वृंद की जय श्री प्रपाद की जय नमो विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते गौर गोविंद गोस्वामी के नाम में गुरु गुण महाराज उड़ीसा नाम से ये महान संत महात्मा हुए जो प्रपाद महाराज के डिसाइपल थे और उनकी रूपाद महाराज की अति श्रद्धा जो विश्वास है वो अटूट था 
ये हमारी कल्पना से बाहर है और गौर गो, गोविंद महाराज बहुत समय संत बनने के लिए अच्छे गुरु की खोज कर रहे थे तब उन्होंने प्रभुपाद महाराज को वृंदावन में प्राप्त किया और जैसे ही प्रभुपाद महाराज की उनकी प्रवचन सुने तो उन्होंने सोचा कि ये हमारी गुरु बन सकते हैं तो प्रभुपाद महाराज के संपर्क में आने के बाद उनकी दीक्षा तो पहले हो गई थी हरि नाम दीक्षा लेकिन प्रभुपाद महाराज ने बहुत थोड़ी समय के बाद उनको ब्राह्मण दीक्षा और संन्यास दीक्षा भी साथ में ले दी उसके बाद रूपाद महाराज ने कहा कि आप उड़ीसा से हो आप वहाँ उड़ीसा में जाके प्रचार कीजिए तो वहाँ पे भुवनेश्वर में एक स्थान था जो जंगल था अभी जो एन एच फाइव शायद है तो वहाँ पर रूपाद गौरगंद महाराज जाके उस गुरु की आज्ञा पालन करते हुए वहाँ पे रहा और उन्होंने कुटिया बनाया और शहर में हर एक घर पे जाके एक एक रुपए का भीख मांगते थे और ऐसा करते हुए उन्होंने वहाँ पे एक बहुत भव्य मंदिर बनाया मंदिर तो बना दिए उन्होंने उस पर एक समस्या था कि मंदिर बनाने से पहले एक बार प्रोपाद महाराज भुवनेश्वर में जब आए तो उन्होंने कहा था गौर गोविंद स्वामी आप यहाँ पे एक मंदिर बनाओ और यहाँ पे जगन्नाथ का मंदिर बनाओ लेकिन आपको जगन्नाथ का ड्यूटी बनाना नहीं है जगन्नाथ खुद आएंगे तो ये तो बड़ी सामंजस्य था कि आप गुरु जी ने कहा कि मंदिर बनाओ लेकिन विग्रह नहीं बनाना है फिर भाव गौरगंद महाराज ने मंदिर बना दिया और मंदिर में कृष्ण बलराम जी थे और गौ नेता है और जगन्नाथ बल सुबह तीन ऑल्टर के उद्घाटन करना था तो उन्होंने दोनों ऑल्टर की आज्ञा दे दी और बनाने के लिए उन्होंने कृष्ण बलराम और गौ नेता उनको उन्होंने ऑर्डर दिया कि ये बना हो जाए और जगन्नाथ जी जगन्नाथ बल सुभद्रा महारानी के लिए कोई उन्होंने किसी को कहा नहीं उद्घाट वो मंदिर प्रतिष्ठा की जो तारीख था वो तय हो गया और करीब पंद्रह दिन बचा था तो सारे कंग्रे भक्त ने आके महाराज को कहा महाराज ये तो बड़ी समस्या हो जाएगा अभी हमारे तीन अल्टर है दो अल्टर के लिए तो विग्रह आ चुका है तीसरे अल्टर के लिए विग्रह का क्या करेंगे तो गौर गोविंद महाराज बोल रहे देखिए मेरे गुरु महाराज ने कहा जगन्नाथ जी स्वयं आएंगे तो मैंने उसकी मा उसकी बनाने के लिए या भगवान विग्रह कर ली मैंने कोई कहाँ पे कुछ उन्हें हमने कुछ ऑर्डर नहीं दिया है ऐसा करते करते पाँच दिन चला गया दस दिन बचा था तो सब कांग्रेस सुना के बोले महाराज भाभी हमारी तो हमारी बेइज्जत हो जाएगी सब लोग तो, तो कहेंगे कि ये लोग इस कन वाले ऐसा है अभी लोगों ने प्रतिष्ठा किया एक तो ऑल्टर में भगवान ठाकुर ही नहीं और हमने लिख दिया कि जगन्नाथ बल सुभद्रा महारानी का भी अभिषेक होगा तो इस प्रकार चल रहा था अभी पाँच दिन रह गया तो वहाँ पे उन्होंने एक सभा बुलाया कि अभी क्या किया जाए तो गौर गौर महाराज ने महाराज ने कहा कि देखो मेरे गुरु जी ने कहा कि जगन्नाथ जी खुद आएंगे इसीलिए हम बनाए नहीं है विग्रह को किसका कहाँ पे बनाने के लिए कहाँ पे ऑर्डर नहीं दिया है तो आप उसकी चिंता मत कीजिए कि आप चुप रहिए तो सब कांग्रेस नहीं 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 ऐसा नहीं हो सकता है ये संभव पाँच दिन में कहाँ से आएंगे तो गौरगंद महाराज ने एक कारपेंटर को छः महीने पहले बोले थे ये जो मंदिर बना रहे हैं इसमें जगन्नाथ जी की मंदिर हो सकता है विग्रह बनाना पड़ेगा तो उसको उन्होंने बुलाया पाँच दिन पहले जो पाँच दिन के बाद ऑल्टर ओपन होने वाला था तो जब बोले तो कारपेंटर ने कहा कि महाराज कम से कम मुझे पंद्रह दिन की मोहलत चाहिए पंद्रह दिन से पहले हो ही संभव नहीं है वो हो गया नहीं विग्रह फिर वो चला गया उसके बाद में तीन दिन बचा तो तीन दिन बचा तो सब बोले कि अभी क्या किया जाए 
ये तो अभी हमारी नाम बोली बदनाम हो जाएगी उसके बाद में ऐसा चला गया दो दिन बचा दो दिन बचा तो सब कॉन्ग्रीगेशन जितने जो गृहस्थ भक्त थे सब आके महाराज से बोले महाराज अब क्या क्या जाए तो गौर गौरव महाराज ने कहा कि देखो मेरे गुरु जी ने कहा कि वो आने वाले हैं आप चिंता मत करो पैसे भी आ जाएंगे तब क्या हुआ दो दिन बाकी था जहाँ से जगन्नाथ आने वाले हैं वहाँ से जिनके घर में था जगन्नाथ उनको बोले छः महीने पहले उनको बोले थे देखो मेरे लिए भुवनेश्वर में जगह बना मंदिर बन रहा है और मैं छः महीने के बाद में यहाँ से चले जाऊँगा अभी एक दिन बचा है तुम आज मुझे मतलब पहला दिन बोले कि कल सुबह मुझे लेके जाओ और परसों मेरा प्रतिष्ठा होगा मैं वहाँ पे अल्टर में बैठ के मेरे प्रतिष्ठा होगा इसलिए तुम कल ही मुझे यहाँ से लेके जाओ तो भुवन से कुछ ही दूर पर उस गाँव में जगन्नाथ जी पूजा हो रहे थे एक ब्राह्मण के घर पर तो वो विग्रह को एक दिन ही पहले स्वयं वो लेके आके मंदिर में दिए जो कल उद्घाटन होने वाला था उसके पहले दिन लाके मंदिर में सब दे दिए जगन्नाथ बलभद्र सुभद्रा महाराज को सब एक खुश हो गए और गौर गौर महाराज देखे देख के रोने लगे बोले देखो मेरे गुरु महाराज ने करीब दस साल पहले कहा था गौर गौर गोविंद तू मंदिर बनाना लेकिन विग्रह को लाने का नहीं विग्रह स्वयं आएंगे देखो मेरे प्रभु मेरे गुरु महाराज की बर्तन कितने पक्का है लेकिन मेरे मेरे इसमें विश्वास तो था ही लेकिन कॉन्ग्रीगेशन गृहस्थ लोगों की संपर्क में आके मैंने एक कारपेंटर को कहा कि आप विग्रह बनाओ लेकिन बाद में स्वयं भगवान उस मंदिर में आए उसके बाद मंदिर का विग्रह का स्थापना हुआ और इस प्रकार मंदिर वहाँ पे अभी भुवनेश्वर में जो मंदिर है अभी तीन अल्टर है और जो जगन्नाथ जी जो है स्वयं वहाँ पर आए हुए हैं तो इसीलिए गौरगंद महाराज की जो गुरु की वाणी की जो विश्वास है उस विश्वास में अगर कोई व्यक्ति चलता है वो व्यक्ति भगवत धाम धाम जाना निश्चित है इस प्रकार गौरगंद महाराज के बहुत सारे गुण हैं और मुझे कुछ कम समय दिया बोलने के लिए एक दो भाव उनकी गुण था बता दिया हरे कृष्ण नमा ओम विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पुस्ताय उतले श्रीमाते गौर गोविंद स्वामी नमिने नमा ओम विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पुस्ताय उतले श्रीमाते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नमिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचरिने निर्विशेष शून्यवाणी पश्चत्यारी सतरिने वंचकल्पतरुग्यश्चा कृपसिंधुर्वचा पतितनाम पवन एव्यो वैष्णदेव्यो नमो नम today is a very special day for all of us especially those who are disciples of shri guru govinda maharaj who want to glorify our guru our spiritual father and uh, just to begin my talk my little short conversation is that i would like to let you know how i met guru then um i was already practicing krishna consciousness for at least 7 to 8 years and then at one point uh, in our Eastern society we were going through some troubles and difficulties and uh, my faith was challenged and as we know in the scriptures they said yasya devi yasya devi paravakti yata devi tata guru tasya iti katita hyarta prakashanti mahaguna that for those who have a flinching faith in both the spiritual master and guru the real knowledge all the scriptures can be revealed to that person so you can have the you can have the books you can have the tapes or any particular guru you can have all the information but if you don't have faith how can you advance so faith is required faith is so important not even material even materially speaking what to speak of spiritual if you don't have faith you cannot make any advancement so my faith was challenged big time so then uh, for three or four years i was almost about to become retreat which could have been very disaster very a disaster so then uh, fortunately i uh, one senior guru gbc proper disciple told me 
I know one person who is a Paka guru. You have never seen him, he told me. But he lives in Orissa. And he can, he's going to help you, I'm sure. I'm, I have a lot of faith. This, and, and then I asked question, who is that person? And he even gave me the name, but I didn't know who that person was. So, so at that time, probably, Guru Dev had only maybe two or three years being initiated, but he never traveled to, to the West. Then when one finally, one year came, I saw him and he gave a lecture. As soon as he started speaking, and as soon as the lecture was over, I thought, oh, here is a personality who, in my view, is never going to fall down. I was really convinced of that, and that made me like, sure, now it's just a question if he will accept me. So that was very, very, very important for me. That meeting was like the saving grace for me. And I thank to Krishna. That was in Los Angeles? Los Angeles. That was in Los Angeles, by the way. And as the scripture says, um, Brahmanda Varamita Konya, Bhagavanji, Guru Krishna Prasadipai, Bhakti Latavish. By Krishna you get Guru, and by Guru you get Krishna. So Krishna was so kind to send me the right person, and then Guru they came to help me to meet Krishna. So saying that, after that, everything was more smoothly for me, easy thing to, to continue my devotional service. So for all of us who are hearing the lectures of Srila, Srila Guru Dev, his, his uh, audio and uh, videos and many other things, it's, it's nectar. Because when Guru Dev spoke, although I have to admit that sometimes if he will speak, this is, this is amazing, because he will speak some class about Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and then you will say, hmm, I heard this before, and then the next time, oh, the same thing. But amazingly is that it was so fresh. It was so fresh, like you never heard before. In other words, you heard, but at the same time, you're relishing, like, like it was brand new, fresh again. And I thought, interesting, this is so good. How is that? And then I started realizing because this is spoken by a pure devotee of the Lord with so much love, with so much deep realization, that the heart immediately feels satisfied. And I'm thinking, this is very unusual because it never happened to me that anyone else probably would have said, oh yeah, I heard that, and yeah, is there anything new? But with, with him, at least for me, I can say, it was so nourishing, it was like, he can speak the same class maybe 20 or 40 times and we still relish it same. So that much, I can see that my faith was re-established. And I thanks to Krishna for giving me this great opportunity of meeting such a great soul. And of course, I, I am very thankful to be there to kindly accept me as a, his disciple. Now my only prayer is that please Krishna help me to be a good devotee and praying to Guru Dev to uh, give me strength and uh, to always be with those devotees who love him, who serve him. And in that way, I think uh, we, me and myself and all of us will be in good shape. And uh, I will never forget something that one time one devotee asked Guru Dev. He said, uh, um, he said, Prabhu, this, this question was for Guru Dev. He said, is there any pure devotees in this world? And Srila Guru Dev says, Are Baba, he said, is the sun and the moon there? And then he said, if the, if the sun and the moon are not there in this universe, what is the use of this whole universe? So that makes made me understand, you know, with that, that Krishna will always make sure there's pure devotees. In a similar way, I would say that, we are so fortunate that we made that soul, that devotee. But also I can say that, that there are many in our society, Silo Prabhupada was so, so keen of making sure that everybody will have devotees, that opportunity. We had our opportunity, other devotees have that opportunity. There are pure devotees there giving shelter to so many people out there.
So we have to always keep that respect and that understanding because they are being inspired by different devotees in our society. And that's what I like this International Society for Krishna Consciousness because Prabhupada was so kind to start with this, helping the whole world because in the future will be pure devotees and there always will be pure devotees. So we are so happy to have one and, and it's helping us and at the same time we also acknowledge other devotees who are pure there. And I wish you the best and please forgive me if I say anything that is not accurate or inappropriate, but I'm your one wisher as a friend and as a disciple of our spiritual father that we can keep helping him, assisting him, and the best way to do it, in my opinion also, Prabhupada told his disciples, if you really love me, you have to show by how you cooperate. So the fathers, even materially speaking, you have a mother and father, what do they want from us? Get along, work together, love each other, and keep working. So in the same way, if we just work together, there will be some inconveniences because we're living in the material world, but always keep the good spirit in which our Father wants this from us, so we're going to cooperate, we're going to work together. Hare Krishna. gana go to Goloru Haram, Goram, Guru Chama Go Pyara Kopa Vipsham, Gopala Gara Rati Dham Yati Singha Goram, Govinda Deshi Kavaram Satatam Namami. To the brilliant garland around the neck of a league of prominent associates of Lord Gora. To the desire tree bestowing the topmost secrets of Lord Goranga. To the giver of condensed love for Gopal. To the lion like sannyasi, Gorgovinda Swami, the eminent spiritual teacher, I constantly offer my obeisances. Guru Dev. I hang my head in shame. People say that I'm your disciple. Initiation from you is the greatest boon in my life, but what is the actual fact? Gurudev, how can I serve you? How can I please you? I can imitate your mannerisms, how you talk, walk, smile, and speak. But when I do, even the demons curl their lips with disgust. I hang my head in shame. Gurudev, how can I serve you? How can I please you? I can quote verses like a storm, but I don't have your realization or feeling for them. I'm like the Bengali villager who only knows four words in English. Yes, no, very good. I hang my head in shame. Gurudev, how can I serve you? How can I please you? I can push my way into giving classes, but who wants to hear them? What effect do they have on the listeners? They are just more of my impudent attempt to get prestige. I hang my head in shame. Rudy, how can I serve you? How can I please you? I can loudly shout and chastise devotees in class, but the hot air coming from my mouth doesn't penetrate the heart the way your loving, strong words do. I hang my head in shame. Rudy, how can I serve you? How can I please you? I can advertise that I'm your disciple and tell many inspiring stories to adoring sycophants, but you never cheaply cashed in on your connection with Srila Prabhupada by publicly promoting your relationship with him. I hang my head in shame. Gurudev, how can I serve you? How can I please you? I can speak strongly against the Kali Chalas and false gurus, but my kamikaze, rabid ravings don't seem to convince anyone. I hang my head in shame. Gurudev, how can I serve you? How can I please you? I can push myself forward as a manager and advertise my glories by loudly beating on my chest. Of course, I will only do so because it is, after all, I who can solve all the problems of the society. Srila Prabhupada has written in chapter 3 of Nectar of Devotion, quote, Anyone who has any desire or aspiration for satisfying his senses by becoming more and more important, either in the material sense or in the spiritual sense, cannot actually relish the really sweet taste of devotional service. In Hari Bhakti Vilas 20, 370, it is written, Sarva Tyage Pyeheyaya Sarvanartha Bhuvascate 
Kriya Patista Vistaya Yatnam Asparshane Varam. The practitioner must be very careful not to touch the stool of the desire for fame and position, which cannot be given up even by one who's renounced everything else and which is the root cause of all vice. Srimad Raghunath Das Goswami Pad has called this desire for distinction Drishta Sapacha Ramani, a shameless dog-eating woman. I hang my head in shame. Gurudev, how can I serve you? How can I please you? I can accept disciples. I'll just say, of course, I'm not qualified, but someone has to do it. I don't really want to, but since there are no pure devotees present, <clears throat> but there's always someone there to do it. Krishna is always there. His pure devotees are always there. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati once said, quote, unless one develops faith, one can see neither a pure devotee nor the Supreme Lord and will simply indulge in envious, violent, or blasphemous activities. On another occasion, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta said, we don't have to make disciples, we have to become disciples. In other words, we have to remain constantly engaged in the service of Krishna and the spiritual master. End of quote. I hang my head in shame. Gurudev, how can I serve you? How can I please you? You once told us, quote, why are you thinking you're so strong and capable? Have you some, have some intelligence? You're a fool, number one. A sadhu, Premi Bhakti, is completely absorbed only in thought of Krishna. He has no other thought. He sees Krishna everywhere. He may go to the jungle, but the ferocious animals there won't harm him. Rather, they will become pacified because he's only absorbed in thought of Krishna. He's absorbed in chanting the holy name. Just as Mahaprabhu made the lions, tigers, and jungle animals dance and become pacified. If someone imitates such a sadhu, what will happen? Guru says, Baba, you are not on that stage. Why are you imitating? You should not imitate. Don't think of yourself as being a great elevated person that can show an example, quote, without any weapon out, enter into the jungle, break a strong branch of a tree and drive away tigers and lions, end of quote. If you develop pure bhakti, then you can subdue all ferocious animals. You can subdue your stupid mind. You can subdue the very strong senses in your six enemies, Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Mada, and Matsarja. Lust, anger, greed, illusion, pride, and envy. These six enemies are always attacking you, but you can subdue them by being absorbed only in thought of Krishna. That was from a lecture Gurmaj gave in Bhubaneshwar on the 6th of February, 1995. How can I please you? By my honest sincerity, by being genuine, even if that is fallen. For as you told us, your only qualification is your disqualification. Gurudev, how can I serve you? How can I please you? Maybe all I can do is hang my head in shame. Matulyo nasti papat na naparadi chakashchana parihare pilajja me kim bhuvi purushotam. Dear Lord, let us inform you that no one is more sinful than us, nor is there any offender like us. Even if we wanted to mention our sinful activities, we would immediately become ashamed and what to speak of giving them up. From Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 1 2, 154. Agyanat atava gyanat ashivam yamaya kritam shantu mahasi tatsarvam dashinaiva grahanamam. Stiti seva gitir yatra, smritis chinta, stitir vacha, buyat seva na vishnu diem, vajesita. Whatever inauspicious things I have done out of ignorance or unknowingly, please forgive that and accept me as your insignificant servant. Let my normal condition be service. Let my movement be holy pilgrimage. Let my thoughts be remembrance of you. Let my words be glorification of you. O oh Lord, let my activities of my whole mind, body, and soul be engaged in you. Hari Bhakti Vilas, 8, 430 to 430. The following servant, not even the everyone. Vaisha Kapitri Vishya, Kripasandibi Avisha, Petit Nambavinabi, Vaisnavavi, Olamaha. 
Namo om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pistaya Bhutale Simate Goga Vindaswami Niti Namine Bande Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prema Meritura Priyan Sakarupa and Bhakti Gadan Krishna Prema Pramapadam Sadhanavats so, everyone, this is your lovely god brother Nimai Pandit Godas, the worm in stool attempting to glorify our Guru Dev. As you know, um, or may know, myself and my wife have been researching Guru Dev's life on and off for over 31 years. So from that research, I'm just going to try and make a few points in the glorification of our beloved Guru Dev. In the book, uh, Sri Bhaktivinoda Vani Vai Bhav, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur is quoted as saying, it is the duty of the disciple to glorify the spiritual master. And he should glorify the spiritual master one hour every day, minimum. He also wrote that no part of the pure devotee should be hidden because the body of the pure devotee is too auspicious. So, <clears throat> in 1980, one South Indian Brahmin walked onto the Bhubaneswar property and he saw our beloved Gurudev, his divine grace, Srila Gorgavinda Swami. But before he saw our Gurudev, he said to me, and I have this in interview, he first saw this giant effulgence and then he saw a sadhu sitting on the veranda of the hut chanting on beads. And he went up and introduced himself. And he said, the first thought he had in his mind was from the um, Samudrika. And in the Samudrika, it's described there are 32 symptoms of a Mahabhagavad. And he said he could see those symptoms emanating from Gurudev's body, plus the effulgence. So then he went, when he went down to Sri Rangam and he saw his guru, Sri Lakshman <coughs> Ramanuja Jia. Shula Acharya Dev, he said to him, according to my calculations, there is a Mahabhagavat preaching in Iskon Bhubaneswar. So finally the Acharya from Sri Rangam came up on the train a long way from Sri Rangam to Bhubaneswar. And he came and saw Guda just prior to Rathiatra in 1991. Gokul Das Das was there, Jagadish Pandit Das was there, Dindabandu Das was there, many, many devotees. He came up, he looked in the flywire door of Gurudev's hut, just looked, and he said to me, I saw this giant effulgence and I paid my dandavats. Then he knocked and he walked in and he spoke to Gurudev for 15 minutes. When he came out, he said, your Gurudev is Siddha Purush Mahabhagavan, his self-effulgent personality. And he said, such a person is very rarely seen on planet Earth. When I went to Sri Rangam in 1993 with my wife, daughter, etc., he said to us that such a personality is seen one in a billion persons or one in two billion. It's very rare. Then in 2012, just prior to the Acharya leaving this world, I was having a conversation with his disciple and secretary, Sri Badri Narayan Ramanuja Das. The Acharya from Sri Rangam was in his last days. And he said to Badri, who then translated and while I was on the phone, translated and gave me the message in English. He said, Gorgavinda Swami is Shakti Vaishavata. He's come with a mission. Shakti Vaishavata. He said it three times, come with a mission. Gorgavinda Swami has come with a mission. So there's the Acharya from Sri Rangam, who's tens of thousands of disciples, some say hundreds of thousands of disciples. He's the, who's an astrologer, he knows Samudrika, he's a mystic, he's a psychic, he can read your mind, so many things. He's a nice sticker brahmachari. His disciple Bhadi Narayan Ramanuja Das, who is trained in the four Vedas, the Upanishads, Puranas, he's an astrologer, he knows Samudrika. They could see Gurudev was Ma Bhagavad. Then, we have the um, quote by B.C. Mahanti, Professor B.C. Mahanti, who is one of the most prominent deity makers or Shilpis in India. And he said he could not make the deity of our Gurudev because our Gurudev did not conform to any of the maths involved in making a deity of a person that was a conditioned soul. Then he figured it out that this Gorgavinda Swami is not a conditioned soul. He's Mahabhagavata and then he could make the deity.
Very simple. So there are three persons that are not in, even in our Sampradaya that could see Guru Dev as the Mar Bhagavan. And there were many people outside of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness that were mystics, psychics, astrologers, acharyas and different Sampradayas that could see that our Guru Dev was Maha Bhagavan, was not a conditioned soul, did not conform to the lifestyle and, and geometry of a conditioned soul. Unfortunately, there was many that couldn't. What to do? So, <clears throat> in the course of my research, I came across one psychic from New Govardhan Farm. It was many decades ago now. This fellow was a um, congregational me member, fringe member. And he did a little bit of service at uh, New Govardhan Farm. And one day he decided to do a, uh, a Reiki course, not that that's got anything to do with us. So he did a Reiki course, and then he decided to be a Reiki master. Again, that's got nothing to do with us, and who really cares? But when he got his Reiki master, <clears throat> He became psychic and not psychic he could tell the future he knew what you were thinking so the devotees tested him and they said well what's this person thinking what am i thinking what's he thinking and then they said what about this sannyasa here what is he thinking psychic said he's just thinking about sense gratification so then another sannyasi came and they said what's he thinking he said he's same thing just thinking about sense gratification so then a little old sannyasi came from India, walking with a cane, holding onto someone's hand and shuffling along. And they said, what is he thinking? And he said, well, I can't work it out. And he wrote it down. And, it was, and he wrote A-C-H-A-R-Y-A-L-E-E-L-A. -E -E and he said, oh, Acharya Lila. He said, yes, that's what he's thinking. And they explained it to this fellow. That means the pastimes of an acharya. And the, and the psychic said, this person is only thinking of how he can deliver everyone on this hill. New Govardhan Farm is on the hill. And then he said, not just this hill, whole of Australia, not just Australia, whole of the world. And he said, this acharya Leela, he's been doing for many lifetimes. And that little Indian sannyasi was our Guru Dev. Srila Gorgavinda Swami Maharaj. So when the Acharya from Sri Rangami said, Your Guru Maharaj is Mahabhagavat, Siddha Purush, self effulgent personality, rarely seen on planet Earth, and Shakti Vaish Avatar, they were not, these were not random terms, this was not random terminology. So all I can say is, Dandavats everyone, Maharajas, Prabhus, Madhijis, the duty of the disciple is to glorify the spiritual master. And as I said, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur himself said, no part of the pure devotee should be hidden. He wrote in his Sri Sajjana Toshini, because it is all too auspicious. So our duty is to promote our Gurudev's glories, not only where we live, throughout the whole planet, throughout the three worlds. Dandavats everyone, Vaishnava Trivishcha, Kripsa Devyavacha, Petita Nam Pravena Biyo, Vaishnava Biyo, My dear Gurudev, please accept my prostrated obeisances and to your lotus feet. Blessed is the day of your appearance, Shaila Gurudev, which brought good fortune on earth and gave us a renewed opportunity year after year to more specifically appreciate this good fortune and meditate on it. You say that we are quick to blame the Lord for any unwanted situation and very prompt to take credit for the favorable, pleasant and upstanding happening taking place in our life. 
Yes, indeed. If by any chance we become a little bit capable in our service, immediately thought of self-esteem in vain, oblivious of the fact that without your mercy we are nothing, nothing. Whatever little knowledge may be there, any realization, success, moment of peace, fulfillment and gratitude, the ability to accept, understand, appreciate and feel satisfied no matter what. To desi the desire to give, to share, pacify, to help and serve. Where are we getting that from? From, the, from your causes, yes. But we tend to forget this very essential point again and again. I fail to recall your greatness and comprehend your mood, the urgency of your happy. Try to understand. Yes, I want to understand. To understand the depth of your love, your concern and your empathy. To understand the weight of your every word, the compassion they convey and the wake-up call ringing behind each one of them. You keep blessing me with an ineffable truth which my ego, petitness and many other shortcomings don't allow me to value at its full extent. I want to become the child who rebelled, chastised and even spun by his or her mom, crying, seek shelter in her very arms and does not contemplate any other way out of predicament. Have mercy on me, Shri Gurudev. Please always cast your beneficent glance on me and allow me to remain at the shade of your lotus feet, you unworthy daughter, Manishirani Devidasi. My dearest, beloved Shri Gurudev, please accept my Dalva Pranam at your divine lotus feet. All glories to your great spiritual master, Shri Prabhupada. All glories to you. Jai Shri Shri Radha Gopal Ju, Shri Shri Krishna Bharam, Shri Jagannath Baladev Sudra, Shri Shri Radha Gopinath, Shri Shri Gunathai. Om Jnanat Vrandasya, Jnanam Janasalakaya, Jaksurun Militam Yena, Tasma Shri Guru Dayana Maha, Shri Chaitanya Namo Bistam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Rupam Karamayam Dadadi Swapadantikam. Namaum Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Shimati Gaur Govinda Swami Tinamine. My dearest beloved Shri Gurudev, I was the most unfortunate, ill fated Jeeva before meeting you. By your mercy, the destruction of my material bondage began as soon as I met you for the very first time. You did not consider my very foreign status my lack of knowledge, austerity, sadachar or surrender. You immediately gave me instructions. I could realize that you were my well-wisher and my best friend and spiritual guide. In my heart, I also accepted you immediately as my most beloved Shil Gurudev. At this time, which seems like a partial devastation in the world sent by the Lord with this virus, we are most fortunate and blessed to have this Krishna conscious way of life which you suffered so much and took so much trouble before beyond compare to give to us just out of your causeless mercy and compassion. Thank you, Shri Gurudev. Although this is not sufficient, we thank you. Now we are all forced to surrender and go deeper into your teachings. Our false ego has been smashed by this small virus pan pandemic or mercy of the Lord. Gude, you continuously bestow your causes mercy upon all your disciples and followers. This is so clear to see. You said that when our material bondage is finished, we would get the chance to have the darshan of Sri Guru. And that darshan of Guru means to receive a completely new life of Guru Krishna Prasad Pai Bhakti Lata Beach. By the mercy of Guru and Krishna, a fortunate jiva is given the seed of the Bhakti Lata Beach. We simply have to take care of that creeper by following your instructions. All you ever wanted from us is that we follow simply and sincerely, not to be crooked hearted or duplicitous. Ex you explained to us on many occasions 
that one who received the darshan of Sri Guru is very successful, that only by the mercy of Sadhu Guru Mahajan one can see the real form of Guru, and only by the mercy of Guru can one realize how dear Guru is to Krishna, and that he is Gora Karuna Shakti. From all angles, Srila Gurudev, one can see how this mercy potency of the Lord is moving through you. You explain also that by nature of Sri Guru, is, by nature, Sri Guru is very merciful and tolerant to all jivas. He always excuses our innumerable aparad. He is an intimate associate of Krishna, who can come here, who has come here to give us Krishna. He is always looking at us with merciful eyes, with a resolute determination to deliver us from, a fallen from our fallen condition. He comes ready to bestow faith in Krishna, Krishna Shraddha, taste for hearing and pastime to Krishna, Krishna Katha Ruchi and the invaluable wealth of Krishna Prema. Krishna Yadi Kripa Kori Kona Bhagavan Guru Antaryami Rupe Sikaye Apane If Krishna shows his mercy on a fortunate jiva, then the Lord appears to that soul as Guru and teaches him. How fortunate we have been to meet such a highly rare Mahabhagavat. Vaishnava Thakur is certainly inestimable, yet so fallen we could not we could not recognize how rare a personality you are, a pure sadhu, a direct associate of the Lord. Over the past twenty four years of your Aprakata Leela, innumerable persons who have never met you are surrender, uh, surrendering to your lotus feet and reflecting on your exalted position, your totally spotless Vaishnava character and behavior, your depth of all Vedic knowledge and scriptures, your pure Vaishnava qualities, your 100% devotion to Krishna and Gora, your love and affection for all, your simplicity, your amazing voice and effulgence, your ability to solve the issues and problems devotees present to you in such an amazing, sarshic manner, never speculating or deviating from the, me deviating from the message of your beloved Krishna. Just by listening to one of your lectures, many are convinced of your position as a Mahabhagavad. They communicate that when they listen to you, just, just, when they listen to just one lecture, all their anxieties, fear, lamentation, doubts and delusions are destroyed. Your spiritual Shakti is evident in so many ways, Srila Gurudev, that one, unless very unfortunate or envious, could recognize that Krishna has sent you and, invest, and invested all his potency in you to teach and spread his glories. It is for this reason that Guru is known as the embodiment of Krishna's mercy, Krishna Kripa Sri Murti. Therefore, to attain, attain Guru means to attain the mercy of Krishna. There is beloved Srila Gurudev, on this most auspicious occasion of your divine holy appearance, all glories to you, all glories to you, all glories to you, all glories to your amazing Krishna Kata, all glories to your immeasurable causeless mercy. You with Sri Krishna are my only protector, my maintainer and my shelter. I pray to you to please always keep me at your divine lotus feet. Although I'm so undeserving, please always engage me in your service. Please bless me with the strength and capacity to always continue my seva and sadhana to the end of my life. I'm trying to serve you with distributing your books and lectures and taking care of Gornetai as you instructed me to do. However, as with age comes lack of energy and strength, but if you so desire, Srila Gurudev, please bless me with one drop of Shakti so that I may be able to continue this small endeavor and please you. Your mercy and blessings is all that I'm made of. Without this, I cannot do anything. I can feel your presence and understand that you are always close by watching over, guiding, protecting and correcting me. There is no question that you have left and no longer with us. Thank you, dear Guru, for everything you have given me. Please forgive me for my innumerable offenses. Please bless also Priya, especially at this stage in her life, that she may always serve you. Please bless her with strict sadhana and save a routine like you taught us and instructed her. She will always need your guidance and help to follow your instructions. Please shower your courteous mercy upon her and her family for a successful Krishna conscious life. Your very unworthy, deep, deeply grateful daughter, Nalini Devidasi. 
Jai Shri Gurudev, Jai Shri Gurudev, Jai Shri Gurudev, all glories to you, all glories to you, all glories to you. And Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam to all Vaishnavas and all God brothers and sisters. Jai Shri Gurudev, Hare Krishna. Om Ajnana Timivandasya Gyananjala Salakaya Chakshura Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurudev Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mati Gogovinda Swami Niti Namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mati Bhaktivedanta Swami Niti Namine Dear Vishila Gurudev, please accept our humble obeisances all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to your divine lotus feet. On this most auspicious occasion of your Vyas Puja, we remember you in our hearts, the love and nurture that you kindly bestowed upon your disciples and well wishes, and how we still feel that love and connection to you through your books, lectures and instructions. Due to the effects of so many sinful activities, this material world is becoming harder and harder to navigate through. You always remind us so boldly and with so much conviction and determination that we should give up our attraction to this ugly witch Maya. This year has been very challenging and continues to be as we go through this very serious pandemic. Many devotees have been affected and continue to be. I humbly pray that during these dark times, the torchlight of your teachings can carry us through and help us to really grab onto that rope tightly so that we can help you in your mission to help us fallen jivas. On a personal note, I humbly beg at your lotus feet to please bestow some mercy onto us here in London, as we attempt in our small and insignificant ways to please Srila Prabhupada and to please you by rendering some service to help the Krishna conscious movement to spread and grow. You are all the strength that we need, yet giving up our attachments and surrendering in full faith seems so challenging. All glories to you on your most auspicious appearance day, 2020. We humbly pray that we may be able to visit your Samadhi and project, projects in Sri Orissa Dham soon. Hare Krishna Srila Gurudev, from your insignificant servants, back to Priya and back to Matt. Hare Bol. All glories to the devotees in Bhubaneshwar. Hare Krishna. My dear Guru Maharaj, frequently say, repeatedly say, be serious, take it seriously. This is for serious student. Yes, seriousness is required. If there is no seriousness, one cannot solve the Guru and go down. Take it seriously. So, just quoting these words, study of my duty, I request you all, my beloved devoted disciples. To take it seriously and swear, take a promise at the cost of our life, we must serve Srila Prabhupada. So, the success of the life will be assured. Pray the lotus feet of my Guru on this occasion. I tell you this thing, let him shower his cousin's mercy on him. Jai Sri Jai Pati Pavan Srila Gurudeva Pili Jai Krishna Pada Paramahansa Pati Praja Kataja. Sisma the Guru Govinda Swami Maharaj is to our Jai Vyasa Puja Maha Mahoshava Jai Vyasa Puja Maha Mahoshava